Salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'awudhu billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Abish rahli sadri wa yasir li amri Ahlu luqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, we did a little bit of inna last time. In our last session, we'll do it again, inshallah. Inshallah, you will understand it fully. Why I say this? Because I have confidence that you understood the concept of Jumlah Ismiya very well. In Jumla Ismiya, we always look for Muptada and Khabar. Now, as we know, Khabar can be of five kinds. So I have written five sentences here. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. In fact, there are six sentences, but the last two sentences are for Jumla Ismiya. So, brothers and sisters, we must always remember, whenever the Khabar the word khabar will come, it can be of five kinds. Later on, we will have khabar kana, khabar laisa, khabar mahijaziya. All these things will come. But if you know the concept very well, that the khabar can be of five kinds, things become very easy. You know. So here we are, brothers and sisters. Khabar can be one word. Huh? Al-Kitabu Jadidun. Huh? So when it is one word, it is always marfu. Al-Kitabu 
جدید اور اٹ کین کم خبر کین کم ایز اے مداف اینڈ دیر بی مداف الہی القرآن کتاب اللہ آر یو وتھ می ایم ناٹ رائٹنگ بٹ یو نو دس سینٹینس ویری ویل القرآن مفتدا ویر از اے نیوز کتاب اللہ سو کتاب اللہ از مداف مداف الہی بٹ ویر از اوور خبر کتاب بیکاز دیر از دا مرفو So it is one word. Then we will say, Huwa mudaf, and Allahi mudaf ilayhi. Yeah, very simple word. Remember this word, Al-Qur'anu kitabullahi, or Muhammadun Rasulullahi. Huh? So Rasulullahi is again mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. So we, our khabar is Rasul only. Fine. But then we come to Al-Kitabu, okay, it's Muptra. What is the news? Al-Al-Maktabi. What is Al Maktabi? Jar Majrur, Shibu Jumla, Khabar, MashaAllah. And then we say Al Kitabu Muftada. What is the news? Tahta Al Kursiji. So Tahta is Zarf. So we say Tahta, Zarf, and immediately we say Shibu Jumla, Khabar. And then what about the next noun? Al Kursiji, Mudaf, Ilahi. Khalas. Simple, brother. Then we say Hamidun, okay, very good. Muftada. What is the news? Zahaba ilal masjidi. So Zahaba ilal masjidi is a complete jumla failure, verbal sentence. What do we look in verbal sentence? We are looking for fiel and fahil. So what is, where is our fiel? Zahaba. Where is our fahil? Mustatir. In this case, mustatir. Okay, and what is Ilal Masjidi Jar Majroor Khalas Now we say Hamidun Okay Fine Muftada Where is the news? The news comes In the form of a complete Jumla Ismiya Lahu Salasatu Abnaayin How will you translate Lahu Salasatu Abnaayin He has Three sons Okay brother Three sons. So, Lahu, what is Lahu? Jar Majur. Are you with me? Jar Majur. Now it is in the front. Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then, Salasatu Abnaim. What is Salasatu Abnaim? It's Mudaf, Mudaf Ilahi. But first, we are looking for Mubtada. So, where is Mubtada? Mubtada is Salasatu. Are you with me? Wahua Mudaf. And then mudafilehi. Fine. So this whole sentence, brother, this whole sentence. What is this whole sentence? A jumla tul ismiyatu coming as a khabar. Another example of jumla ismiya. Hamidun. Fine. Hamidun. What is the news about him? It's muftada. Hamidun muftada. Hamidun muftada. Brother and sisters. What is Hamidun? Mubtada. Where is the news? What is the news? His brother is a doctor. What is the news? His brother is a doctor. So, Akhuhu. Tabibun. What is Akhuhu? Brothers? Akhuhu is Akhuhu. Mudaf, Mudaf ilayhi. But first we got to find the Mubtada. So, Mubtada is Akhu. Wahuwa Mudaf. And then who? Mudaf ilahi. Fine. Where is the khabar for akhu? Tabibun. Now this whole sentence, brother and sister, whole sentence is khabar for? Hamid. So then how many kinds of khabar we are now here looking at? Five kinds of khabar. Jadidun, one word, will always be marfu. Alal maktabi, jar majru, shibu jumla khabar. تحت الكرسي تحت تحت زرف شبو جملة خبر and كرسي مضاف له صحيح and then we have حامدون مبتدا ذهب إلى المسجد جملة فعلية coming as a خبر and then we have حامدون مبتدا what is the news له ثلاثة أبناء he has three sons so he has three sons. Lahu Salasatu Abnaim is a complete sentence. Is coming as a khabar for Hamid. Lahu 
جار مجرور شبو جملہ خبر سلاست مبتدہ وہو مداف این ابنائن مداف الہی Another example for Jumla Ismiya, because this is where most of the students sometimes get confused, because they see there are two Muptadas. Uh, but we have to divide the sentence. Brother. Hamidun Muptada. Okay? If you want to say this as a Muptada number one, that is also fine. And then, Ahu, Hu, Tabibun. Ahu, Hu is Mudah Mudafilihi. So, the translation is, his brother is a doctor. So, Ahu is our Muftada. You want to call it Muftada number two? You can call it Muftada number two. Ahu, Ahu, Muftada, wa huwa mudaf, hu mudaf ilahi, and tabibun is the khabar. We can call it khabar number two for Muftada number two. And it's all sentence, brothers and sisters. The whole sentence, Ahu, hu, tabibun, is your khabar for Muptada number one. So we can call it the whole sentence as khabar number one. Keep this in mind, brothers and sisters. Now what Inna does, Inna enters Jumla Ismiya. And when Inna comes in Jumla Ismiya, brothers and sisters, uh, it gives uh, Muptada a nasab. It will give, make Muptada mansub. Uh, and then once you make Muptada Mansub, it is no longer Muptada. It becomes Ismu Inna. What does it become? Ismu Inna. So if there is a Ismu Inna, there will be Khabar Inna. So it becomes very easy if the, the first concept of Khabar coming in five different forms is strong in our understanding, brother then things will become very easy, inshallah. Okay. And as, as you know, we can also with the inna join our pronoun. Huh? So when you join pronoun with inna, brothers and sisters, because inna gives nasab, make it mansub, the ism, then the pronoun now becomes mansub. Are you with me? If you say innahu, so what is inna? Harfu tawkid wa nasbin. Remember we said that. Harfu tawkid wa nasbin. Okay? Fine example. I will write down here. Huh? Hamidun talibun. Sahi brothers and sisters? What is Hamid? Muptada. What is this, brother? Khabar. Okay? Now I say inna hami dan. Then talibun will remain talibun. Okay, brother? So inna, brother, is harfu tawkit. Harfu tawkit. Tauhi then Vanaspin. Say inna. And what will become to harm then is Ismu inna. Are you with me? It is Ismu inna. And then this is, will become Abarinna. So it is very, very easy, brother. Ismu inna and Khabarinna. Now I change this into Huwa Talibun. Huh, brothers and sisters? Huwa Talibun. So what is Huwa? Mubtada. And what is Talibun? Khabar. Are you with me? Now I use inna. So what will you I say? Innahu talibun. Brothers and sisters, so what is inna? Harfu tawki din wa nasbin 
Are you with me, brother? What is who now? I will say who is ismu inna mansubun. Ismu inna mansubun. Huh? Always, brothers, ism inna mansub. And what is this? Khabar in. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now we will go to the lesson and read it. Huh? Okay. If you wish to write it down, write it down. Huh? Strong in, in our 14 pronouns. So if I say in Nahu, can I do the rest of it? We start again with in Nahu. In Nahu, in Nahuma, in Nahum, in Naha, in Nahuma, in Nahunna, in Naka, in Nakuma, in Nakum, in Naki, in Nakuma, in Nakunna, in Ni, in Na, in Ni, in Na. Are you with me, brother and sister? So all these pronouns, because they were joined with Inna, they became Ismu Inna, and they are now Mansu. Huh? They are now Mansu, huh? because they join Inna, and Inna will make it Mansu, you know. It's Ism, will be made Mansu. Right. Now we start the lesson. Hashimun, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hashim is saying to the teacher, Kaifa haluka ya ustad? La laka bi khair. How are you ya ustad? Hope you are well. Now la Allah is also sister of in. Okay? There are several sisters of in, now brothers and sisters. And Lala is one of them. So all these sisters will behave exactly as the Inna behaves. So when you say Lala ka, Lala ka, what is ka? Ismu Lala Mansu. We will say Ismu Lala Mansu. Okay? Now we need Khabar. Khabar is of five kinds. So what kind of a Khabar is here? Bi khairin. What is bi khairin? Shibu jumla khabar. Jar majru, shibu jumla khabar. Sahi? Very easy, brothers and sisters. It's extremely easy. Okay. Now, again, since we are doing la Allah, let us see if we can conjugate la Allah um, with all the pronouns. Ready? La Allah hu, la Allah huma. La Allahum, La Allaha, La Allahuma, La Allahunna, La Allaka, La Allakuma, La Allakum, La Allaki, La Allakuma, La Allakunna, La Alliya. What is it? La Alli. And then La Allana, La Allana. No, by doing this exercise, brother. Okay, we make our uh, understanding of pronouns strong, and when the real exercise will come, you will find it. What will you find there, brother? In the in the exercise, you will find you will find halwa puri. <laughs> but they'll be very easy, inshallah. And it is coming. It is coming. Mudars is replying, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdu Mubtada Lilla Jar Majru Shibu Jumla Khabar. We know that. Wa kaifa haluka anta ya hashim. Now brother, anta is used here for emphasize. If you don't use it, the, the sentence is still correct. Kaifa haluka ya hashim, that is also correct. And when you say kaifa haluka anta, you are just emphasizing, you know. Fine. Ana ohibuka kathiran. Ana muftada. Ohibuka is a jumla failure. We have not learned this. 
Huh? And ka is an object of ohebu, huh? which is in Arabic mafulun bihi. Ohebu, I love. Whom do you love? Ka, I love you. Okay. And what is kathiran, brother and sister? Kathiran is mafulun mutlak. We are going to learn later on, inshallah. Innaka, she now comes innaka. So what will you say, brother Hassan? Inna is arfu taqid wa nasbin. And what is ka? Ismu inna mansub. Sahi? What will you say ka? Ismu inna mansub. Where is the khabar? Talibun. Is your khabar? One word. Okay, then after talibun comes zakiyun. What is zakiyun? Brother uh, Abdul Samad, it is a nat, talibun zakiyun. Now comes mujtahidun, also nat. But these are all mautufun ala zaki. Huh? Okay. And then wa zu. Now zu is also a nat. And it is mautufun ala zakiyun. Huh? And then wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilahi. Brothers well, and sisters, I told you that we have so far studied Ayu and then we studied Kullu. Now we are studying Zu. They will come as a Mudaf. Now there will be Mudaf ilahi. Are you with me? There will, there will be mudafili. Now the tricky thing is, if you really want to understand well, and I always felt that I should understand well, you know, when I was studying. I want to know everything, even though it is hard. You have to watch uh, that zoo, which is a mudaf, can come as a naat or come, can come as a khabar also. It will come as a khabar uh, or it can come as a naat. Doesn't matter, whatever way it comes, it will always have mudafilehi. Uh, because it has mudafilehi. Whether it comes as a khabar or whether it comes as a naat, it will have mudafilehi. Huh? So look at this sentence, brother. There is a beautiful exercise coming. Huh? Now, this requires a little bit of understanding and a little bit of extra penetrating. Huh? Okay. Now look at here. We already got Taliban as a khabar. Then Zakiyun came as a naat. Huh? And then Mujtahidun also is a naat, but mautufun ala zakiyun. Then again, ataf came. Again, zu is a naat, but it is mautufun ala zakiyun. So it is our naat. Now there will be sentences in which it will become khabar. And we have to watch. We have to watch. Zu khulukhin. Zu means owner or possessor, huh, brother? Uh, literal meaning is owner or possessor. When you say Zu Khulukin means he has good character, with a good character. There are things that will surprise you when you understand Zu very well. Because you always say, Ya Zal Jalali, Zal Jalali Wal Ikram. So what is this Ya Zal Jalali? What is this? Yeah. Zu became za. Zu became za. All these things we will study and it will surprise you, brother. Huh? That these things we used to say it all the time but never understood the meaning of or the construction of it. Fine, brothers and sisters. Amin Pakistan anta amin al Hindi. No, I want you to really underline min Pakistan. And I want you to underline Minal Hindi, brothers and sisters. Okay, this is also a concept 
That has to be understood. What is A, brother? A is called Harfu Istifam. Huh, brother Abdul Samad? A is for asking question. And what is Am? Am means or. Huh? Am, there is another word. Av. They both mean or. Now we have to remember one thing that um is only used in questions. And al is used in statements. Statement. Huh? When you use a question and you have to use or, then you'll use um. When you have to say a statement and use or, you will use al. Huh? So what is so special about this? I want to explain, brother. I'm in Pakistan, Anta. I'm in Al Hindi. In a sentence, when you are not sure and you ask a question and you state two things. How many things? Two things. Okay. This or that. Because you're not sure. So in Arabic language, brother, the two things that you want to inquire about, first thing will come after a. Are you with me? Here is, brother, I'm not too sure whether he's from a, Min, Bakis, Tana, and the other thing is Minal Hindi. I'm not too sure. Okay. Are there two things that you are inquiring? Then immediately after a one will come. Are you with me? So immediately after a I say a min Bakis, Tana, and then Anta. Am, um, then the second thing. Number one I'm inquiring about and number two. And there are two things. One and two. Huh? Are you with me? How will you say in English? Are you from Pakistan or Pakistan or from India. See, these things came together and in the middle is or. Sahi? Eh? Are you from Pakistan or India? Okay? They came together with the or dividing them. Can I say the same thing in Arabic? Anta min Pakistan am min al Hindi. I can say that, you know. Anta min Pakistan am min al Hindi. But that will be wrong. That will be very poor Arabic. Huh? The eloquent Arabic will be that. We divide those two things, we bring one <coughs> soon after a and the other thing after am. Are you following me, brother? Is this clear? Huh? Instead of saying a anta, no, I don't say anta. 
I bring that one thing. Amin Pakistan anta. Amin Pakistan anta. Am min al Hindi. That will be a most correct form. You have to remember this. Uh, this is how when you ask about two things, then this is the way you will say it. No. <coughs> Here is, I don't know whether this uh, thing is a masjid or a school. They both look same. So I say, Ahada masjidun am madrasatun, but that will be incorrect. A masjidun haza am madrasatun am madrasatun. Are you with me? A masjidun haza. Am madrasatun? I write down this sentence. Huh? Two things, brother. A masjidun haza. And then I'm writing here. Am madrasatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Let me write down with this black. What will you say in English? Is this a masjid or a school? So masjid or a school came together. But in Arabic, a masjidun haza. Not a haza masjidun. You will say a masjidun haza am Madarasatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Write down these two. They are coming in a lesson. There is a whole exercise coming to tell us. Now, this is the eloquent way of saying it. If you say it the other way, Ahada Masjidun, Am Madarasatun, it's a very poor Arabic. A person will understand you, but that is not correct. That is incorrect. You will say, A Masjidun Haza. Am Madrasatun. So similarly here, we don't know whether he's from Pakistan or from India. So we are asking, Am min Pakistan anta? Am min al Hindi? That is the correct way of asking. Inshallah, you will remember, brothers and sisters, you will read this lesson. I used to read book two often, brother, because the lessons are beautiful. And they are beautiful dialogues. So you, you, one can enjoy reading them over and over again, brothers and sisters. What is the answer of Hashim? Inni minal Hindi. Now what is inni? How many words are there? There are two words, brothers and sisters. Okay. What is it? Sister Sukhaina, inna. And plus, Ya Mutakallim. Sister Hafza, did you get it? Inni is two words. Inna plus Ya Mutakallim. So, Inna, what is Inna? Harfu Tawkid wa Nasb. And what is uh, Ya Mutakallim, Sister Hafza? Ismu Inna, Mansubun, Mashallah. May Allah bless you, Sister, and all of us. Uh, mashallah, Mashallah. Very good. Uh, and then, where is our Khabar, Sister Hafza? Minal Hindi, what is Minal Hindi? Jar Marjur Shubu Jumla Khabar. MashaAllah. That's the way it is. Aha, aha, I like it. <laughs> okay. Wa Zami Luka. Zami Luka. Wa Zami Luka Ladi Kharaja Makal Ana Minal Fasli. But I'll only translate this. Do not. Uh, Try to analyze it. Huh? Because questions we don't analyze. Azami lukal ladi kharaja ma'aka al-ana min al-fasli. How will you translate, brother uh, Abdus Samad? So this is the translation. And your colleague who came out with you now from the class, ahuwa aidan, is he also 
من الهندي نو نو وات از ذا انسر لا انه من باكستان سي هاو كليفرلي دكتور صاحب از يوزينج ذوز برونونز ان ذا ان ذا ديالوج اند وي ار جيتينج ذا براكتس اوف اول اور برونونز يو نو دكتور صاحب ويل يوز اول ذا برونونز اكسبت ديول he will not use dual now till at the end of the book but for the sake of practice and simplicity and the sequence we when we practice we do 14 in a sequence brother okay innahu min pakistan inna sumiya what is inna harf tawqid wa nasb what is who اسم ان منسوب ما شاء الله ايوه اس خبر ان من پاکستان وات از من پاکستان سسٹر چار مجرور شبو جملہ خبر ان شاء الله ائی ایم گوئنگ ٹو اسک ایوری ون اینڈ ان شاء الله یو ول ٹرائی ٹو انسر می اف یو گیٹ کنفیوز ڈونٹ وری اٹس نارمل بٹ ائی ووڈ لائک یو ٹو میک این اٹمپٹ اینڈ ان شاء الله یو ول بیکم اسٹرانگ Now Al Mudarris is saying, "What is he saying? Inna. After Inna, there is no pronoun, but a noun is coming. So Inna will make that noun Mansu, and we will call that noun Ismu Inna. So what is Inna? Saata. It is Saatu. Saatu became Saata. Now that is our Ismu Inna. Wahua Mudaf. And what is Ka? Mudafili. Inna Saata Ka." Jamilatun. Okay, Sister Fatima, what is Jamilatun? Jamilatun. It's one word, so it is a khabar inna. What is it? Khabar inna. We got our ismu inna saata. Who am mudaf? Mudaf ilahi. Huh? Am min al yabani hiya? So this is the proper way of saying. If you say "ahiya min al yabani," it's not right. "A min al yabani hiya." Are you with me? "A min al yabani hiya." What is the answer? La. And then, "Inna ha." Sister Fatima, what is "inna"? Harfu taukid wa nasb. And what is "ha"? Ismu inna. Mansubun, got your ismu inna? Huh? And where is your khabar inna? Min al Hindi. What is it? Jar majur shubu jumla khabar. Masha Allah. Now see how how the question is asked. You are asking. You don't know whether it is cheap or expensive. Uh, in English, you will say, is it cheap? Is it inexpensive or expensive? Inexpensive or expensive will. Come together in English, but in Arabic, we will say a galiyatun here. What will you say in Arabic, brother? A galiyatun here, am rahisatun. So here comes a and am. Uh, we cannot say a here. No, we has, we will say a galiyatun here, am rahisatun. Got the idea? Uh, watch for this construction, brother and sister. Uh, A galiyatun hiya, am rakhisatun. So between a and am, the two things that we are inquiring, one will come immediately after a, and then the other thing will come after am, and everything else in between. This construction is very important to keep it in mind. Huh? Inshallah. انها رخيصه جدا انها رخيصه جدا سي رخيصه تن 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 اوكي مرفوع اوكي سو سيستر نايما وات از انها هاو ماني ووردز ار ذير تو وات از ان حرف توقيد ونسب وات از ها اسم ان منسوب And what is where is our khabar? Rakhisa tun. That is your khabar. One word, marfu. And what is jiddan? Jiddan is jiddan marfu mansub majrur. 
Mansub, it is Mansub. So there it is something else. And it is Mafulun Mutlaq. We will read it and understand it later on. Huh? Don't worry. The, I will be saying Mafulun Mutlaq so many times, you will become expert in saying Mafulun Mutlaq. And you will even figure out that it is Mafulun Mutlaq. The only thing you wouldn't know is why. And that we will learn later on in book three. Okay, brothers and sisters. Innaha, sister Faiza, innaha bi miati rubiyatin fakat. No, brother and sisters, the word fakat means only. It's a very common word, fakat. It has never been used in Quran. Fakat has never come in Quran. Okay? But we use fakat all the time in our conversation. And keep that in mind, brother. So, sister Faisa, in Naha, how many words are there? Two. What, is, what are they? Inna, <coughs> Mashala, Ismo Inna, Mansub. You will always say Mansub because we want to have that idea of Mansub in our mind. Ha is Ismo Inna Mansub. No, where is our Khabar? What is B? Miati. B Miati. Huh? B, what is B? Harfchar. So Miati became Isam Majru. Harfchar is some Majru. So this B Miati, brothers and sisters, is your uh, Jar Majru, Shibu Jumla Khabar. And what is Rubi Yatin? See, B Miati with single Kasra. Now Rubi Yatin came with a Tanmi Kasra. Can you figure out? Brothers and sisters, Rubiyatin is mudafilehi. 